Welcome. This is Melinda Barlow, CZT Certified Zen Tangle Teacher. And today is another tangle from Zentangle.com. As you can see, I've been tangling in my scriptures and I did Ibex and I did it on a little bookmark. And I find it very, very relaxing, very easy to do. And I I did the little bookmark so I could mark my place so I know where I had done that tangle. So I'm going to move my scriptures out of the way and I'm just going to take uh, my tile and I had someone ask me at class whether or not we still did borders. And I'm going to come in a little bit. And yes, I still follow the steps of Zentangle. I appreciate my my equipment, my tiles, my pen, and um, the many resources that I have. I I really give thanks and appreciate that. And then I come in and I make a dot in my corners, and then a border, and then we could do. Um, a string but I'm not going to do a string I'm just going to pick up my pen and we're going to start with Ibex but I should show you the um, this is ooh, I need to zoom back out of it just breathe is the template for this week and we're going to do Ibex on it and then we are going to Thursday we will have another tangle that you might could use on it. And we're going to start with a spiral. And I'm going to spiral from the center out. And I'm going to come back down and I'm going to spiral in. And I am using a Pigma 05 pen with a plastic nib. Um, lately I have found myself having a very heavy hand and so I have crushed too many tips. So now we're going to take from this area, we're going to come out and we're going to spiral in. So we have another one. Then we're going to come here and spiral. In. And then we can come and we can just let this work its way, you know, to just to spiraling and working its way out. And now, after we've got our spirals, we're going to come in and we're going to aura this space. So that we have, and I'm going to also aura this space with little, with I would call them a triangular shape. And they are going to give us dimension here in our tangle. And then we're going to color those in so that we have that dimension or what I call drama. And I've said that many times we need that, that drama in our tangles. And this tangle can be put just about anywhere. I loved it. It's simplicity. And when I when I draw in my in my scriptures, I usually have um, I've been working on a tangle or two that week, and because I have a terrible memory um, for what I'm going to draw. So usually I draw whatever I've been working on that week. So I try 
to focus on a few new tangles every week or even go back and look at some that I haven't used for a long time and I believe this is probably one that I haven't used I'll look and see what um, if I have a video on this I don't even recall whether I do or not it was just one I, I picked up and was working on for my book and I thought you can see how pretty that is now I'm going to just take and I'm going to add some little dots that come out from those points and um, just give it some more life. I, I could continue to add another um, Ibex here and sometimes they go right off my my line they don't stay within my um, border but you can see how you can fill up this with more but this is a gorgeous tangle and I hope you enjoy doing Ibex and just giving it, you know, some. You could even come right off of of what you're working on. You can give it your own little twist. There's no rule, and we talk about that often there's no rule in Zentangle that says you have to draw it exactly like um, Maria did it you get to just do your own thing and that's what I love about Zentangle it, it allows me to be creative but I love the spiral and the and the triangle together it just makes a beautiful beautiful tangle and I normally would do all my tangles before I put my dots in but sometimes not sometimes I will um, think I need to um, just add a little bit more to this and I think I'm going to do a little shading so I'm going to take my pencil and now I have to determine where am I going to do shading. I think I'll just put some in the center. I'm laying my pencil on its side so I'm not using the very pointy tip. I'm just using that edge and then I will take my shading stump And blend this out Ooh, and I just thought of something that would be fun here so let me get into my once I've let that black dry I can take I can take my jelly roll and add some white back on top. And I love what that does, just adds another dimension your work and you don't always have to have a whole lot I can just add one dot in the center and there you have Ibex a beautiful tangle from Zentangle.com easy fun 
and very relaxing and you can add it to your meditation process I I read scriptures every day and when I do I I like to meditate um, and ponder what I've read and this is a good time if you just want to ponder this is a good time to just ponder and um, I'm gonna work on my just breathe template and just see what I can do with that with Ibex and um, I will uh, give you a sneak preview uh, on Thursday of what this is turning out. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays and have a great day.